the state of these. You wouldn't even put these on grandma's car. Look at them. They have seen better days, haven't they? They have. Let's put these on. She's a duck's guts. G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Fred here from Clooney Garage. Big day today, lots of stuff to do. Starting with a brake upgrade for our Black Betty. We're gonna do some unboxing for you guys. So we've got some braided brake lines. We'll have a good look at those. They're from the V8 Racing Series. We've got some DBA slotted rotors to go on. Woohoo! Might be able to stop this bad girl. Um, that'll be good fun. So yeah, braided brake lines, new rotors. We've already got Frodo pads, so that'll be all the stopping power until we upgrade our rotors and pads down the track um, and we can't wait to take these things off and show you the color of these rotors oh my god um, i picked up a second hand rear bar from a wrecker so huge shout out to comrec on that one after my little indiscretion at the track last time so that'll be good fun we'll just scuff that back and we'll paint him up too um also got a rear light as well we'll chuck him in clooney we've got to get him off the ground um get his wheels back on drop him back um, put the semi slicks back on, and then we're gonna pick up the gets, get the race seat in. It's all happening. Oh, Frankie, you're kneeling to the gods. What have you got there, Father Christmas? Oh, mate. Uh, oh, time for a bit of an upgrade, and uh, oh, yes, yeah. the Father Christmas has come early. Yep. So we've got ourselves a, uh, a DVA rotor with um, slots in it. Yep. So, um, Got to be a little bit better than what we've got. I'd say so. Like about a billion percent. We've got fourth. They're uh, they're the one piece design. Yep. Yeah. And four DBA four thousands. Nice yeah. and uh, meaty. So um, yep. Full thickness, unlike our uh, our old rotors, which have chopped uh, the hell out of them. They've turned slightly blue. They have. Oh geez. And uh, I hear that uh, the V eight racing series of the Utes have uh, been kind to you too, Frankie. And what have they bought you for Christmas? Yeah, what old uh, Barry Smith has made. Uh, Made us up some nice lines, and these are the same as uh, in the Ute series when they were actually Holden and Ford Utes. Look at these. And uh, these should be uh, a vast improvement on the factory um, the factory lines. They might give us a bit of a better pedal feel. That's it. Not not pedophile. No. And I think, Frankie, the other good thing is we'll have a different uh, feeling on the pedal, um, and it won't be like... Uh, you know, with those rubber lines that expand when they get heat and they get a bit soggy under the pedal. A bit spongy and long pedal um, travel. Yep. And this, this should be a, an improvement on All that. All right. No worries. Well, we've got a bit of a before shot here, Frankie. And I tell you what, look at the state of these rotors. That's three track days and 150,000 kilometres before Frankie and I bought the ute. Um, so we are going to get onto that right now. Let's keep going. First step, Frankie, what's up? All right, just... Carefully disconnect um, this 10 mil hard line mm -hmm. from uh, from this guy, and then undo your your 12 mil banjo bolt at the bottom of the uh, caliper, yep. and that'll disconnect the um, the bottom bend um, of the line from the um, banjo bolt. Yep. And um, of course, all your fluid will leak out. So you have a nice pan ready. Right. Let's keep going. And Frank, you're just taking that bracket off there, holding of that line. Yeah. Well, the um, the kit comes with a new bracket, so we just completely take. This guy off and the um the old hose is captive on it. it seems yeah. to have some circlip which is impossible to remove. Right, right. Let's show everyone the uh the kit that we get. Yeah, because we actually get a brand new bracket. Yeah, brand new little bracket, so we just chuck these away. Right. right. So as Frankie mentioned, you get your own little bracket in these braided line kits, fresh new washers and banjo bolts, and of course you get your braided lines. So we are gonna um what's the next step here, Frankie? Caliper off. Yeah, we'll take the caliper off, put our new um, disc on. Yep. Push the uh, pads back because the um, the disc is a lot thicker than now. She's a bit lippy there, isn't it? Lip. Yeah, it's probably seen worse, but um, gosh, oh. it's had some heat in it, hasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. jeez. I reckon if that was a cross drilled rotor, we'd have cracks all over the show. All right, Frankie, we'll let you get that caliper off. Caliper is off, Frankie. Let's get this dirty old rotor off. Oh, my God, look at this. That's the, uh, the disc there. Yeah, compare it now. Let's compare. Yeah. Look at the profile, look at that. Hmm. Well, apart from the colour difference, 
there's still there's a heap more meat left on this one. That's right. And I think obviously these slotted surfaces, they get rid of the um, the dust and the gases quicker. So where are these poor roll things that are as flat as? Yeah, they were working overtime, weren't they? Oh yeah. Cool. All righty. You want to? How that? How's the wheel bearing looking? Same as the other side. Yeah, actually, I think they're okay, but uh... we might get those checked properly when we um go and get our wheel alignment as well. Yeah. So first step here is to get your bracket in place, Frankie, and you've connected your new stainless steel line. Yeah. So we just put our new little bracket on there. Yep. Connected up the hard line to the um, the braided. Yep. Stick this little guy in in here. He's got a little flat side on his little circle. Yep. Here he goes. He goes. Bracket. And uh, then we'll just connect this up to um, our caliper when we stick that on. Now the important thing here is when you route your stainless steel braided line, make sure there's no kinks and twists in it. Yeah, and so actually just follow go under under like that that's exactly right, right. Yeah. yep and that way when the rotor turns either side you're not getting it caught up or you're not putting a um a kink for the fluid well, smart enough to undo yep it this time very good we're just going to push these um pistons in the brake caliper back pull the old pads out now we've done three track days frankie on those new pads and they look half worn yeah so um, chopped them out a little bit hasn't it but a mm. uh, big heavy car yep well, I think it's also got something to do with your driving style, just quietly. He loves you. I don't know about that. All right, look at these um, old lines here. And no wonder these things perish over time. And I remember Mighty Car Mods did a video when they, they made an analogy of rubber brake lines being like blowing up a balloon. And as obviously as they get hotter and hotter and hotter, they expand. And that's why braided lines don't do that, Frankie. So. Yeah, it's just a rubber covering, but um, yeah. The they're made to a um a dollar value aren't they the that's factory it. ones exactly all right we've seen you do use that little piston pusher backer before we'll come back in a second so frankie caliper's back on that's good fun getting those 18s on isn't it you need four sets of hands there yeah, poor mechanics who do this for a living uh yeah. they obviously got a lot more skill than you and i but uh that's all right we will uh, get our new um little now, banjo pots banjos that's um the little hole the fluid comes in and out there. Yep. So we put a copper washer on the bottom and one on the top. Yep. And we'll stick our braided brake line on the caliper. All right, let's get going. All right, Frankie, so that line is in. You've got those little banjo bolts and that nut on. Yep. Thread it in on there. Thread it up in behind here. Put your little doobie on here. Yep. Now you've got a little clip, which um, I can't get my hands on. I'll slot that up into there. Righto. And um, tighten it all up and um, pump the... Uh, I'll get, caliper in, I'll get in and start pumping, but this is fairly easy. A bit of an afternoon job, Frankie. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not something you do in an hour, is it? No, nah, not much fun. You get covered in um, brake fluid. Yeah. All right, let's get going. All right, Frankie, we're getting ready to wrap up here. So we've just bled the brakes, did our little two-man trick. That good fun? That was. Hmm. Nice and greasy and horrible with all that brake fluid. Yep. Well, it's good-looking stuff, isn't it? Particularly when it's been through a few track days, but we, we actually... Um, bled the brakes just before last track day, so we're just going to top up the reservoir again. Put the other wheel on, and then put our tyres on, and we're done, mate. That's right. All right, Frankie, you've done. Put that wheel on. Good work. Going to top that reservoir up, as I mentioned, and we've been scuffing back our real bar. That's been good fun. And uh, Frankie had a bit of an episode with the side skirt today. That was good fun. That's uh, we'll outline that in another episode. Um, Frankie's. Where to jack techniques. So that was good. All right. Don't do it for Dale, do it for Brocky. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully Black Betty will stop a little bit better on our next track day. We'll still do the rears, but we'll do that another time. Thanks for watching.